All right, we're rolling out of the house here for another car chasing adventure. Gonna jump in the little John Cooper Works Mini here and head to Winfield, pick up a uh, buddy of mine, and we're gonna take a quick flight to Round Rock, Texas to buy a vintage Porsche. Beautiful day out. All right. All right, we're having a blast in this little Mini Cooper. Check this thing out, man, it's so cool. Oh, this is going to be a fun trip here. Um, doing something kind of uh, unique. <laughs> Called a buddy of mine and we were going to drive down to Round Rock to pick up this car. And uh, he says, uh, well, hey, I got a, a friend who uh, has a plane who, you know, loves to, you know, fly recreationally and stuff like that. So he's looking for an excuse to make a little trip. Um, let me give him a holler and see if he wants to fly us down there. And lo and behold, we're headed to Strother Field and <laughs> jump on a little plane and head to Round Rock. It's kind of crazy sometimes. Sometimes I gotta pinch myself with some of the crazy scenarios that uh, I uh, I wouldn't say get myself into, but uh, you know, fortunate enough to be a part of. Let's put it that way. But uh, so we're getting ready to jump on a plane, and I don't think I've ever been on a small plane like that, at least not in a long time. So gonna be a lot of fun uh can't wait for you to see uh this uh, awesome little vintage Porsche that we're picking up stay tuned all right so we've got uh plan b uh unfortunately the weather down in austin i guess is uh really cloudy and overcast and uh so the weather's not good so unfortunately we had a last minute cancellation uh of our plane trip so uh becky to the rescue with the uh the truck and trailer fire truck. So met back with Becky and uh, she put the Euro Asian Auto GL 550 up to the trailer and uh, I swapped the Mini with her and so she's headed back to the house and I'm in the road or on the road headed to Texas. So uh, boy, couldn't couldn't have a nicer uh, tow rig than this though. Um, plane ride would have been cool, but this is not, uh, this is not, Slumming at all. I think I'll be okay. So, roll down the road. Looks like we're going to get in a little bit later than planned. But, uh, better late than ever. So we'll keep you updated. I actually really love traveling down the road. I love driving. Um, these adventures are so much fun. I, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like to drive, but I enjoy just kind of getting in the car, listening to music, just kind of relaxing. You know, it's kind of a a little bit of a, of a getaway, uh, you know, because I'm not on my phone, um, just kind of enjoying the, the scenery and it's kind of some peace and quiet. So I wish I was planning on driving this little uh, Porsche back, but it uh, looks like we're going to haul it this time. But but uh, I do like to, I do love to pick up cars and drive them back. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. This is one that I've uh, never had before kind of be a cool one to add to our collection. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Boy, Waze is a good app to have. Crash reported ahead on Enterprise Boulevard in a quarter mile. It You're still me. on the fastest route. It had me get off of 135. I'm like, why is it having me take this crazy exit? And uh, yeah, so 135 is gridlocked and I'm on the access road moving along. You can see the people ahead of us must uh, be running a nap <laughs> or something because there's a small percentage of people over here on the access road. And then you can see that uh, 135 is locked up. How's this for creative trailer parking? I've made it as tough as possible to steal. I don't know, stinking thieves. We'll see. Well, it's the 
morning here. I got in kind of late, so I had to pick up the car in the morning there because our plans changed with the weather and the flight, so I had to switch to a truck and trailer. I see my trailer is still here. <laughs> That's uh, good news. I had a little creative parking last night. When I'm always nervous, especially with an empty trailer, uh, staying at a hotel, and my biggest fear is coming out in the morning to no trailer. So I figured it would be a little tougher for somebody to get my trailer <laughs> backing it up over the curb here. So uh, it's all good. But well, we are in Round Rock, home of the famous Round Rock Donuts. So definitely got to stop by there and uh got everything loaded up here all the spares everything is good so i'm gonna go stop by round rock donuts and then take a look at the car all right here it is 74 914 two liter going on the trailer right now all right we got the 914 loaded up and Nikki right here is the gentleman that he's been Hi. dealing with. Hey, Nikki, Nikki, how you doing, man? Sure. So your dad's got some other cars stored away here, huh? So we went to a warehouse where there's some more cars. So let's take a look here. Oh, man. Cool stuff. Uh, we got a little speech replica there. A little Lancia 240Z. Cool, a little 356 speech replica. All kinds of stuff, huh? Your dad has quite the taste. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is cool. Got some Alphas, a Bug Eye, I'm familiar with that. Got another little GTV up there, Alpha Triumph. I don't even know what that is at the end there. What is that, do you know? I'll have to get up there and check it out. I don't know which one you're seeing. There's little Lotus, <laughs> yeah. Well, this is really cool. You mind if I jump up there and take a look at a couple? Yes, sir. All right, let me, I'm gonna put my phone away. I'm not gonna climb up the ladder <laughs> with the, my phone in my hand and break my neck. All right. All right, I got the bird's eye view up here. Some really cool stuff your dad's got some really cool taste i love the i love his uh selection of cars very cool let me walk around here and see <laughs> how much of no safety rail here i'm gonna be careful i'm not afraid of heights but i'm not uh crazy either what do we have here and i guess we got a lancia here this is really cool do you know what this car is anything about this you know if it runs? Wow. Do you know if it runs? Yes, it does. This car does run? Yeah, it does. That is super cool. I like the I like the oddball stuff, you know? I'll turn my flash on here real quick. All right, I got the light on up here. So what do we have here? I can't even read the, I can't even understand the name. That is really cool. I like this car. Oh, it's a Fulvia. L Lancia Fulvia. That is really cool. This is kind of, this is probably my favorite car up here. Just because it's so weird, right. you know? Fulvia Sport. Now that I can read it now that I know what I'm looking at. That is super cool. <laughs> Let me see if that hood is open. Not even sure how to open the hood. And then we got a Triumph TR. This looks pretty clean. Yeah. Does this one run too? Yeah. I mean, this looks like a complete car. You know what's hard on cars down here? Sometimes the humidity, I bet, huh? Trying to keep them dry. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good solid old car. I'm not as much into the British stuff, but but uh, I do like them though. 
What year's this little spider? Any idea? A little bit of a project, but it's all here. Is this a runner? Do you know? Oh, okay. These are this. So these are the projects are down below, and these are all the cars that are. The yeah, we're running when they were parked, essentially, right? Exactly. So they're going to need some. They're going to need some recommissioning, batteries, and probably fuel and tires and so on and so forth. Very cool, though. Very nice cars. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Got little battery tenders in all of them. Yeah, I like it. A little bit of a project here, no interior here. Do you have the interior for this one? Uh, I believe he has, every car that he does have, it is complete. So if it's not in there, it's somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, getting restored or something. Doesn't look like he's got parts stacked up. A lot of places for different stuff. Here's a bird's eye view of that Z. <laughs> what year's the Z? Do you know? Is it 240? Yes. So 71, 2, or 3? 71. 71? Yeah, that, those are cool cars. That was the first car I tried to buy in high school. Nice. It was a 74 260Z, and uh, I couldn't come up with the money. <laughs> and go slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like they pulled the seats in the carpet probably to get them changed there's a little bug eye and a hard top on it tears been redone these are neat little cars these little sprites I had a really nice one True wires on it. It's kind of cool. Let's see, I got the lid up here. Nope. Can't see on that one. Oh, this one's a reverse. Another alpha spider. Dad likes the spiders, don't he? Yeah. I like them too, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, this one looks really nice, looks pretty original. And last but not least. Need the top. Looks like all the keys are in them. I like these headlight covers, they look pretty slick. All right. Kind of a cool bird's eye view up here. So that's the Lotus 7 over there. Let's kind of video these from here. Alpha. Another Lancia. Awesome. Let me climb down out of here now. The old truck's kind of the odd one out here, isn't it? Yeah. What's the story on the truck? Catch 
in there. I don't want to mess it up. You got it? There you go. That's good. I just look in there. Like that. Kind of a neat old truck. I don't, you probably don't find very many little short beds of this vintage, I bet. No. I'm not a, much of a truck guy, but... Kinds of what in the world is that? A straight eight Packard, <laughs> huh? Old Packard straight eight engine, kind of interesting. Never know what you're gonna find in here, huh? Nope. That's crazy, <laughs> right? Right, <laughs> couple of. Those look like old flat track dirt bikes. Did your dad ever race cars or motorcycles yeah. or anything? Yeah. Did he? Got a nice little Euro SL here. You know anything about this car? Yeah. Does it? 123K. Three fifty SL Euro car. Popped a head there. Be cool to find one of these in a stick. I actually have a, a Euro um, three fifty SLC stick, so I actually have a manual conversion for one of these. pretty clean it's interesting the uh, euro 350 actually had more horsepower than the American 450 Euro 350 you know higher revving higher compression and uh, the Americans were more torque you know just kind of designed for the American economy another little alpha Very cool. That is very, very cool. Man, I don't know my vintage bikes, but I know Yacht says Moto Guzzi right there. But cool is cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Wow. Man, I love his taste and stuff. Flathead, was that a flathead Ford V8? Likes the, likes the Italian stuff. Likes the Moto Guzzi's, Lancia's, Alphas. Wow, this looks like a Ooh, Ducati. Cool. Let's check it out. Here's the Z. Take a look at the Z here. It's under some recommissioning, I guess. A little bit of rust on the floors but not a complete basket case. Is the interior pretty intact in this car? Oh, it's not too bad. Definitely a project, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's all there. It's orange like the 914, huh? <laughs> on top on the other side take a look up here another alpha spider kind of a project one here looks like a bit of a project looks like the drivetrain's out of this red one is it down there So everything's pretty much here, in here, basically. TR6. I 
I dig this right here. This is pretty much raw, bare bones track speed right here. Wonder what drivetrain they got in it. It's like a modern shifter of sorts. Let's take a look under here. See if we can see something. Just this this panel just literally weighs nothing. It's just like a pop can. I'm not even sure what we're Oh no way! This thing's got a rotary in it. This thing's got a Mazda rotary. <laughs> That's crazy. I bet this thing sounds insane. Rotary powered <laughs> Lotus 7. How cool. All right, let me jump down here. Missing out the ground floor. Well, that's kind of cool, Moto Guzzi Cruiser. Pretty cool. Well, Nikki, I really appreciate you showing me all this yeah, though, buddy. Sure. Um, we'll get back there and uh, get the 914 and get the title and get to uh, get you some cash and I'll get on the road. But I'll uh, get back with your dad here and we can talk about some of these cars. Sounds good. Awesome. Let's roll. All right. We have to make the obligatory stop at Bucky's. <laughs> Bucky's got a request in for some sugar-free taffy and some goodies here. So got my vehicle fueled up and we are go do some shopping. If you've never been to Bucky's, you gotta stop in and check this place out. This is the ultimate convenience store. <laughs> this is a convenience store to the max. Look at this place. It's just huge. I don't even know how many pumps they got out there, but anyway, their restaurant is super good. I'm gonna get me a burrito and hit the road, but Check this out, fleet station, <laughs> crazy place. All right, they got me good. Got all kinds of goodies in here. Becky's request, an icy. <laughs> so here we go. I don't know if this is a car adventure or a food adventure. Here's all our Bucky stuff here. You can't get out of that place no less than 50 bucks. Uh, Red Rock Donuts. There's all the receipts for the 914 stack of receipts, which is really cool. And uh, <laughs> so I think I've got enough uh, food and fuel to get to Canada at this point. <laughs> North, here we go. We got bad weather ahead of me. I uh, sure hope uh, I don't have to uh, take shelter. Crazy spring weather. We got more. Look at this, skies and storms. So... I've had to uh, take shelter. <laughs> uh, we gotta get out of the weather here. And basically I was driving right into this storm with, I think somebody said tennis ball size hail and 80 mile an hour wind. So before I even got into the storm, I just pretty much, cause once you're in it, it's too late. So I went and found me a place. Uh, I'm in Purcell, Oklahoma. Thank you at Andrea's Chicken Coop. I appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, lending me your shelter. Uh, had to, I had to move some of these items out of the way. It wasn't open, but these tables were in the middle of the driveway. But I don't imagine, I don't imagine they'll care too much. But so now the, I think the storm is mostly past. So I think I'll just wait a little bit longer, and then. Jump in and finish out this trip. Never a dull moment, that's for sure. <laughs> well, wish me luck. Just getting my last fuel stop. Man, this thing looks good under the lights. I could not wait to get this thing off the trailer and drive it around this week. It's gonna be my driver daily here for a while. So cool, love it. <laughs> 